everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio.com. Today we're going to be making a marbled cake for Easter. We're going to be using three different colors inside of our cake. We're going to be using marshmallow bunnies and M&Ms on the top. It's perfect for this time of year, so let's get started. We're going to need one batch of vanilla buttercream, and I've just dyed this um, just a sky blue color. You could color it any color that you want to. Now across the top here, I have a vanilla cake batter divided up into four different bowls. Um, the blue and the pink and the yellow are relatively equal proportions, and the white part of the cake batter, I have a little bit extra just to add the ability to be able to mix these colors a little bit more evenly. For the side of the cake, we're going to be using these marshmallow peeps, but they're shaped like bunnies this time. And for those of you that don't know what a peep is, it is a sugar colored marshmallow. And we're going to be using these white chocolate M&Ms. The reason I'm using the white chocolate ones is because they're colored in the same pastels that I'm using with the cake. And they're a little bit larger than the regular M&Ms, so it's gonna take less of them to cover the top of the cake. So let's get started. So what I've done so far is I have greased my eight inch pan and we're going to be using two of these, but for the demonstration as to what to do, I'm only, be go I'm only going to be showing you this one pan. So keep in mind, you're going to have to do this times two. So what I'm taking is just random scoops of all of the different colors. And I don't want to have two colors the same, probably backing up to each other. Just because I want it, when I marble the effect, I want it to be able to be spread all throughout the cake here. So this is going to take a little bit. So I'm going to do this, just continuing with this. It's so like you see, I'm just alternating the colors that are touching each other. And then I will be back to show you how to actually do the marbled effect. So as you can see, I've used about half of my batter, and now I have the other half of the batter in my pan. So I'm just going to take a knife, and I'm just going to cut through each of these little dollops, and you'll see that it's going to spread, and it will make it look like it's one big mess, but I promise it will look beautiful when it comes out. So just going one way, one way, and then the other way, the other way, just like that. Now, before you pop it into the oven, you just wanna Give your little pan a, top, a tap, just so if there's any air bubbles that have been created when you move the knife throughout the pan, those will be gone. So you want to preheat your oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and you're going to put both your pans into that oven for about 35 to 40 minutes or until they are finished. So I'm going to do that now, and I'll be back when the cakes are finished. So the cake has cooled completely after being in the oven and I have my buttercream here ready to go. So I'm just going to put a little bit in the center in between the two cakes and going to spread this on like that just to get a thin layer in between. And then I'm going to take the top and the other layer and I'm going to put that on top like that. And then I'm going to continue to ice the cake, putting on my buttercream on the top and on the side, catching all those crumbs, and that's why it's called the crumb coat. I'm gonna pop it in the freezer for about 20 minutes to make sure that this layer is set. So I applied a second coat to my cake um, after the crumb coat, and what I'm doing next is I'm just putting on the peep bunnies on the side of the cake, and I'm just putting a small amount of buttercream on the back to help them stick. If you put your um, the, the bunnies on the side of the cake fast enough and your buttercream hasn't um, crusted yet, you probably won't even need to apply additional buttercream to the back of the bunnies. So I'm just going to go around and finish that off and then I'll show you the next step. So I have the bunnies all around the outside of the cake and now I'm just going to take my M&Ms and I'm going to use one color at a time around each um, ring of the cake and I'm just going to work my way inwards and each time I go closer to the center I'm going to change the color so I'll go around the whole outside with the yellow and then for example I might move to the pink and then do another layer of pink like that and then the blue and the and the other colors that are in with the M&Ms so I'm going to cover the whole top of the cake with the M&Ms and then I'll be back 
So I finished off the top of the cake here with my rings of M&Ms and I added some coordinating M&Ms on top of the little rabbit ears there. So I'm going to slice into the cake so you can see the marble effect next and then I'll be back to show it to you and finish the video. So there you go everybody, how to make a marbled cake for Easter. Every bunny loves it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. Remember to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all of our newest videos. I will see you again next time. Bye.